So recently beta 7 for iOS 14 was released and we're going to discuss a couple of the noteworthy changes in this video walkthrough. How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We have iOS 14 beta 7 in hand. So let's talk about a couple of the user facing noteworthy changes here in beta 7. We're going to start as you can see with the app library. Now. The big change this time around with the app library is the refinement of the various categories available right here within the library. So you can see one right off the bat here, productivity and finance. So it basically tries to create a more granular structure for all the applications on your device. So productivity, finance, they kind of go hand in hand, I'd say. I mean, instead of having some of those apps randomly dumped into a category called lifestyle, I think that productivity and finance makes a lot more sense. And there are other new categories that you'll find as well, like shopping and food. Now I may have decided to mix shopping in with finance, but I think this works as well. What do you guys think? Do you like these category updates? Do you think they should have changed them around a little bit? Let me know down below in the comments section. Now I always forget, you can't just simply tap to open one of those folders. If it has the large icons there, you simply launch the app directly. The smaller icons, you can open the folder up just like this. So, so it is kind of a weird design. It takes a little time to get used to uh, just because our muscle memory says you see a folder, you can open that up, but uh, that's neither here nor there. While we're here, you can see the other folder is still filled with all sorts of different random applications. So hopefully Apple continues to work on refining the app library and coming up with additional valid categories. And speaking of that, you can see the travel is a new category. So we have Google Maps and Apple Maps inside there. Now let's talk about another one of the changes here in iOS 14 beta 7, and that's updated wallpaper. Now, of course, iOS 13 had these 14 wallpapers already installed. So you can see each one of these wallpapers is actually two. There's a light version and a dark version. So I'm just gonna tap the dark mode option and that transforms the wallpaper from light mode to dark mode. And we simply tap that toggle again to switch back to light mode. Now, what's interesting is that Apple has added six additional new wallpapers with light and dark variants. And it's no coincidence that these wallpapers are the six color wallpapers that we're a part of Apple's classic logo. So each of these wallpapers has a dark and light variant. And the light variant is the color that you see on the left side of the wallpaper. The dark variant is actually gonna be the same for all six of the wallpapers. It's just the regular old black background for the six colors logo. So here is the light variant for the blue. And I'm gonna add that wallpaper to my home screen and lock screen so you can see right here. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's cool, but it is a little busy looking. Toggle over to dark mode and you can see the background simply turns black. And again, what's kind of interesting is that all six wallpapers, while they have their own distinct colors in light mode, they all look the same in dark mode, no matter which one you choose. And another thing to note here is that each of these six wallpapers are basically variants of each of those six colors. So you have this one would be red, this one would be the purple, this one of course yellow, you have orange and you had green and you also had blue as well. So I don't know, I mean, you kind of lose some of the variety because all of the dark mode versions of these wallpapers are exactly the same. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And just wanna remind you guys that now in iOS 14 in the YouTube app, you can select 4K video quality. You see right there, 2160p, that's so nice. Of course, the iPhone doesn't have a 4K display, but it is higher than 1080p. So you will gain some resolution benefits, but you also gain higher bitrate benefits. And that's gonna make the videos just look all that much better. Be sure to subscribe to 9to5Mac on YouTube if you haven't done so already. And if you appreciated this particular video, leave me a thumbs up because that helps other people find it and hence allows this channel to grow. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below what you think about the latest changes and features in iOS 14 beta 7. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. Mac.